Hello everybody, welcome back to another planty video. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Fern and today we're doing a video that I actually don't do very often, which is I guess a plant haul. I used to do these all the time when I was like, you know, a couple years ago when I was really building up my collection. Now I don't bring a ton of new plants into my home. I mean, I do bring, you know, a few here, here and there, but um i'm definitely not doing like monthly plant hauls anymore like i used to and don't get me wrong i loved doing those videos i love watching plant hauls but it's just a space issue for me i am just you know i've just been really trying to slow down on bringing new plants into my home and putting a lot more thought and intention into the plants that i do bring into my home that being said I love getting new plants just as much as everybody else. It's very exciting. It makes me so happy. So I have a few to share with you today. Now you've seen, if you watched my last um, update video, which would have been my March updates video, you would have seen that I had picked up, I went out, I did like a whole shopping day, um, which is a video on my Patreon where I bought a bunch of like plant supplies and plant pots. And I also did end up picking up three plants on that shopping trip so you would have seen those in my update video so I won't include them in this video but um, I got an asparagus fern which I had really been wanting I'd never tried one before I also got a mini orchid like a mini phalaenopsis orchid which I'm really excited about growing as well and then I also got a streptocarpus which is related to an African violet it's a flowering plant and I fell in love with the foliage ironically but yeah those are three plants that I have gotten recently but I'm not gonna include them in this video because in this video I have five plants to show you, which I have not shown before on this channel. Two of them I bought and three of them were so kindly gifted to me by Charmaine from Unplant Parenthood, which we'll get to that because, oh my goodness, she sent me one of my top wishlist plants right now and my mind is still blown. Oh my gosh, can you actually see it in the frame? Let's start with the first one here beside me. So this is an alocasia, as you can see. Now, the story behind this is that plant shopping video that I was just talking about, I saw this when I was at the big box store at Canadian Tire. I saw these. This was, I believe, $7.99, and um, I really, really liked it. I was taking photos of it, taking videos of it, but I didn't get it because I had already picked out a few plants that day, and I was just trying to stick to, like, I was just trying to, you know, not buy too many plants, basically. Again, I didn't even really know what it was or know the ID on it, which I still am not 100% sure actually. So maybe maybe y'all can leave some comments down below and help me figure it out. But um, I left the store and I kept thinking about this for the next week, I believe. I was thinking about it. I was like, dang, maybe I should have got that alocasia. And as you can see, this is a rescue situation it does not look great like i said i got it from the big box store it was bone dry you guys like bone freaking dry um this was the best looking one of the bunch they just didn't look very happy but i could still but i could just tell that they were gorgeous nonetheless and i could see the potential in this plant um so yeah it's a rehab situation just getting that out of the way before people are commenting like oh my gosh your plant looks horrible um so I kept thinking about it and the store that I saw these at was actually in a different town. It was about 45 minutes away from me. Um, so I couldn't just like, you know, drive back and well, I, I mean, I could have, but I didn't want to just drive back and pick it up. And then after about a week, I was going to be driving past that store again, going through that town again. So I was like, should I stop and get it? Like, should I stop and get this plant? because I keep thinking about it. You know, I've really been wanting to try out some different alocasia. I really liked this like long kind of leaf that it has going on. So long story short, I stopped back at the store and I was crossing my fingers that they would still have them and they did. So I picked this one out and I was like, you know what? Maybe it won't make it, but it's only $7.99 and I don't know, I guess we'll have a fun little rehab project on our hands. Um, so this is what it looks like today. I've repotted it already. This is a nice fresh potting mix. Um, I've like cleaned the leaves off and everything and I'm just waiting for, you know, some time to pass so that this plant will hopefully perk up and give me some like fresh, nice new growth. I actually think that this is a new leaf right here. 
It's just very small, but it looks new to me. And I'm pretty sure that this has come out within like the past week or so. So that's a good sign. There's also multiple plants in here, as you can see. So like I said, I don't really know what this is. Honestly, I don't even really care about the ID. I just think that it's a really cool looking alocasia and I got it for a good deal. And I'm also um, just kind of excited to have it as a little project just to see what it's gonna look like in a few months. It's like a fun little challenge, you know? So yeah, this is the first one. It kind of gives dragon scale vibes just in the sense of like the texture of the leaf looks similar to it. And as y'all know, dragon scale is one of my favorite alocasia. So um, yeah, that's, it's just like a look that I really like. We'll see what happens with this one. Keep your fingers crossed for me. Okay, and then while I was in the store, I of course had to look at the other plants as well. And I wandered over to the begonia section and I've been so tempted, you guys, by begonia maculata. I've been wanting another one pretty much since I got rid of the one that I had. I used to have a really large, beautiful begonia maculata and it was one of my easiest house plants. It grew so fast. It was such a rewarding plant to grow. Um, and whenever I see it in other people's collections, I'm always like, dang, like that is a plant that I really want to add back into my collection. But I've just convinced myself not to pick one up every time I see them at the store. And a lot of the times it's like, they, they don't look amazing. So I've just never grabbed one, I guess. But on this particular day in the begonia section, there was one that looked so stunning and I of course had to bring it home. So here she is. I now have another begonia maculata in my collection and I am so, so happy about it. Um, this was, I mean, I think both of the plants together came to like 15 or $16. I think this was $6.99. It's not a huge plant as you can see, like it only has six leaves, but like, look at how beautiful they are. This was the newest one. Um, it actually just hardened off. It was like very soft when I brought it home. So I was trying to be like pretty careful with it, but like, oh my gosh, it is just so, so pretty, especially the way that these two leaves look together. Oh shoot, my insurance company, my car insurance. I need to renew it just one sec. Okay, sorry about that. Had to get that sorted out. We were talking about my begonia maculata. So like I said, I had a really great growing experience with this plant the first time I had one. So I'm just hoping that that's gonna be the case for this go around as well. I think it will be honestly, um, since it did look pretty healthy when I got it and I can already see that it has these little like growth points where it's gonna be working on new leaves one right here and then there's also another one down down here if you can see that and here actually we have a lot of points where new leaves could potentially come in which is really exciting oh and here oh my gosh literally at every little junction um so this is going to be one that i will be chopping and propping probably pretty soon because i really want to encourage it to bush out and i also want to be able to pop more cuttings into here pruning is pretty important for begonias because you really want to encourage the growth to branch out a little bit so yeah i'm very very excited about this one and just so happy that i have it again because i missed growing one so much like they're just so unique i know that these had so much hype when i was first getting into plants in like 2019-ish, um, these were actually like a rare plant, like you couldn't find them in stores. And I literally remember the day that they popped up at Lowe's in the trending tropicals and everyone went nuts. Everyone like ran out the door to grab one, um, including me. <laughs> I actually had sent my boyfriend, but he ran out the door to grab one for me. Um, and it was such a big deal to get one. And now they're everywhere, which is so nice that they're accessible because they really are just a great begonia. Not only are they stunning, but they're pretty freaking easy to grow too. So yeah, picked up this one, how fun. Okay, now we are gonna hop into the plants that Charmaine got me. Let me just show you the first one, the one that is, or I guess was, a wish list plant. Oh my goodness, I literally cannot believe that I have this plant. I have been keeping my eyes peeled looking for one, but I just wasn't coming across one. So when she reached out to me, I was shook, you guys. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> it's Monstera Escaletto. Like, are you kidding me? 
I cannot believe that I have this and not just Monstera Escaloto. Like I would have been happy with like a freaking wet stick of this, but this massive two leaf, and not even a cutting, a plant, like it is rooted. I'm assuming it's rooted. It's potted in potting mix. I, I cannot believe it. I cannot believe that I have this plant. I'm so, so excited to grow it out. I mentioned a while ago in one of my videos that I was thinking of um, getting my Monstera Adansonii to climb because I couldn't find Monstera Escaletto and I was like, this is gonna have to be like, this is like the second best option. So it's been on my radar. And then when I was doing an Instagram Q and A, somebody asked what my top wishlist plant was. And I said that it was a tie between Monstera Escaletto and Philodendron Orange Marmalade. And Charmaine messages me and is like, hey, I can send you Monstera Escaletto. And I was like, that is so generous, like what the heck? And she did, she literally mailed this to me. Like how freaking sweet is the houseplant community? I say this all the time, but yeah, that was just so generous of her. So I actually, this plant has been on a little bit of a journey. Um, there's actually, she sent me two other plants, which we'll get to, which I was not expecting. And they are also incredibly exciting plants but um, they've been on a journey because my mail is kind of unwell here. Like it's delayed because it doesn't come to me specifically. It goes to my landlords and then they give it to me, but sometimes they don't check the mail for a while. And it's just not a good situation to have plants shipped to. So anyways, I sent it to someone else's address and then I had, so it arrived there and then I unboxed it via FaceTime. <laughs> and then I drove and picked it up a couple of days later so the plants had been unboxed there for a little while. Um, and then, you know, they'd be li been like chilling there for a while. And then I brought them back to my house. And yeah, it's just been like a bit of a journey. But yeah, it looks so good as you can see. And it's a Monstera. So, you know, it's going to be a tough plant, at least I'm assuming. Um, can't wait to get this on a pole. I will be doing that like as soon as it starts growing. And I'm going to be freaking out whenever I see a growth point on this because yeah, I'm just like, wow, I'm a little bit obsessed with this plant. Whenever I see people post about it, I'm just like in awe. So I'm so excited that I have this and yeah, I still, I just can't believe that, you know, someone just so kindly would gift this to me. I was like, dude, if there's any plants that you ever want from me, like, let me freaking know, I will send them over. But she has way cooler plants than me, so, so yeah. Now I have crossed a wishlist plant off right now it's actually growing in my millsbow tall cabinet just to i don't know give it a bit of humidity and light and everything while it's settling in here um but i will definitely be keeping you guys updated on this one because yeah like i said very excited like i said she sent me a couple of other plants as well and this is the first one right here it's still in its little container i'm actually gonna move this um this is a cutting and i'm probably gonna move it to water honestly, but it came to me in this cute little container and like the labeling and everything, like how cute. Um, I love like cute little packaging things like that. But um, anyways, this right here, I'm so excited to grow this plant too. Oh, I just took off the little sheath. That's fine. Um, I'll pull it out so I can show you. Get this sphagnum off of it. This is a variegated Hartley philodendron. Look at that. The variegation looks absolutely stunning. Oh my goodness. I've actually never, well, I've never grown one of these, but I've never even seen one in person. So this is just like, wow, it's so gorgeous. Um, and y'all know, I love my trailing philodendron. Like I have the regular green Hartley philodendron, love growing that one. Such an easy, like fast growing, rewarding plant. And I love the way that trailing philodendron look like they just kind of flow down so nicely. I have the green version. I have the lemon lime philodendron. I have the Brazil philodendron. I have the Mykins. I have the Rio. And now adding into my, wow, I didn't realize I had so many Hartley philodendron, but adding into the collection now is the variegated one. And I'm just so excited to grow this. This is like the Marble Queen of the trailing philodendron. And Marble Queen is my favorite um, epipremnum or pothos. So I'm just so excited to grow this and to see what it's all about, see how it grows for me. Imagine if this got big enough one day that I could add it to my trailing philodendron plant wall. How cool would that be? Yeah, so I'm just, I'm so excited about this. And she messaged me and said she didn't know if I had this already and I do not. So yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. 
Of course, I always say if y'all have these plants at home and you have any tips or suggestions for me, please leave them down below because yeah, I just love hearing your advice. And then the last plant she sent me, I was so shook because this is one that I've been seeing on the internet everywhere right now, but I've never actually seen one in person or grown one before. And it is the D Discoria Discolor or D Dioscoria Discolor. I don't know, I'll put, I'll have the name on the screen. Um, but yeah, I've been seeing this everywhere. Everyone's talking about how fast they grow and posting photos and they're so beautiful. And um, she sent me a stunning two leaf cutting of it. I honestly, I'll insert a um, screenshot from, <coughs> oh my gosh, I feel like I have soil in my throat again. Why do I always have the feeling like I have soil in my throat? I unboxed it on FaceTime, so I'll show you what it looked like um, when it when it arrived because it looked like phenomenal when it arrived. Um, and it's gone downhill a little bit. Well, yeah, it's gone downhill since I unboxed it, which obviously is my fault. <laughs> but um, I popped it in water and I was like, I'll try to root it in water. And it just like wilted on me and I was like, oh, like shite. So I've moved it to perlite. I have it in the top of my like Millsbow wide cabinet. So it's getting humidity, it's getting light and hopefully it'll just root into that perlite. It honestly looks better than it did a couple of days ago. So I'm very hopeful and there's two nodes. So, you know, I'm just hoping that at least one of them takes because, oh my goodness, I really want to grow this plant. Again, one that I didn't have, but I'm like so thrilled to grow. I feel like she just like nailed, obviously I was not expecting any extras. Like I 100% thought it was just gonna be this plant. So I was shocked when um, I was unboxing it via FaceTime and they were like, oh, there's three plants in here. I was like, what? But yeah, she like really hit the nail on the head with the, the bonuses that she sent because I'm just so soaked about them. But yeah, those are the new plants that I have gotten over the past few weeks and I'm really excited about them. I feel so spoiled for one. And I'm just gonna have so much fun growing these. Like now that it's spring, I've just been so obsessed with my plants lately. And you know, you, you there's kind of like ebbs and flows with any hobby. Um, but right now I'm definitely just like fully invested. Like all I wanna do is take care of my plants and do plant chores and admire them. And when the sun is shining, they look so beautiful. And yeah, it's just a good planty time around here lately. So I hope that you guys are also feeling the spring vibes where you are. Um, thank you so much for watching this video and joining me. I hope that you enjoyed. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below. I would love to chat with you. Like I said, give me any advice. Let me know if you've gotten any cool new plants lately. I would love to hear. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up while you're at it. Thank you so, so much for watching. Appreciate you guys so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye.